Greetings here in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When was the last? You spoke about the love of Christ with one of your non-Christian friends. When was the last you spoke about the salvation that you have in Christ with one of your friends? When was the last you invited a non-Christian friend to an evangelistic meeting or for a church service? When was the last? Yesterday in my sharing, I spoke about Jesus calling Simon to catch men for Christ. Simon was a fisherman all his life. And Jesus uh, looked at Simon and said, Simon, follow me. From now on, you will catch men. And Simon left everything and followed Jesus. We read this in uh, Luke chapter 5, verses 10 and 11. Jesus called Simon to catch men. And today, Jesus has called you and called me to catch men for him. Now to do that, we must have the heart of Christ. For those who are perishing in their sins. We must have the heart of Christ for those who are outside the church circle. We must have the heart of Christ. Will you please turn to our Matthew chapter 9? Verse 36. Matthew 9, verse 36. When he saw crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The harvest is plentiful, the workers are few. When she saw the crowds, he had compassion for them. Jesus did not look at the crowd with a critical spirit. Jesus did not look at the crowd with the attitude of condemnation. Jesus looked at the crowd and he had compassion on them. He loved the crowd. We must have the same heart, the heart of Christ, for those who have yet to come to know Christ. Let me uh, share with you a uh, Testimony. The testimony is about a seminary student. He was asked why he had offered himself for full time ministry. So he said uh, he had a dream. He said he had a dream. And uh, in his dream, he saw Jesus on his uh, judgment seat. And uh, beside him, uh, one of his childhood friends was standing. 
she just looked at him and said, uh, looked at the seminary, seminary student and said, Welcome, my son. Since you have received me as your personal Lord and Savior while you were alive on earth, you shall enter into heaven. And then Jesus looked at a, a childhood friend or a seminary student who had not received Jesus as his personal Lord and Savior while he was still alive on earth. Just looked at her, him and said, You're condemned to hell. And the guy protested. <coughs> the guy protested. He said, Jesus, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Jesus looked at him and said, Why? Why you say it's not fair? He received me as his personal Lord and Savior while he was alive on earth, now he's going to heaven. And you did not receive me as your personal Lord and Savior while you were in, you, while you were on earth. So you're condemned to hell. The guy protested, it's not fair. So Jesus asked him, why you say it's not fair? He said, this friend of mine. No, we are childhood friends. We grew up together, we went to school together, we played football together. You know, Jesus, not once, not once did he ever talk to me about him, not once. And the seventh student uh, woke up from his sleep, went on his knees and offered himself a full-time ministry. But sometimes uh, we are like uh, a seminary student. We all know that uh, we are called to catch men for Christ. And yet somewhere along the track, many of us have failed to do that. And uh, one of the reasons uh, some of us gave us where do I go? And uh, reach out to those. But we have to know Christ. Where do I go and catch the fish? Where do I go and catch men for Christ? Will you please turn to John chapter 21? Verse. Uh, he said, throw your net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So here, Simon Peter and a few of the disciples had spent the whole night trying to catch fish. They did not catch any. And then Jesus told them, hey, now throw your net on the right side. And when they threw their net on the right side, they caught 153 big fishes. Jesus did not tell them to go further, to go to the right, to go to the left. Jesus told them, the fishes are just beside your boat. Now just throw the net and catch the fish. And the disciples Followed the instruction of, that Jesus gave, threw their net, and caught the 153 big fishes. Now, the people that God calls us to catch, the people that Jesus calls us to catch, are more than often our own family members who may have not, who may have yet to receive Jesus Christ. could be our working colleagues. We have yet to know, yet to have come to know Christ. So we don't have to go and look far. We, need, we don't have to travel very far to catch men for Christ. 
Sometimes they might be sharing the same roof with us. Sometimes they might be sharing the same office space with us. Sometimes we may be sitting in the same classroom in the, uh, in the college or university. So they are just right beside us. If only we are prepared to be sensitive to the voice of uh, God the Holy Spirit and truth in it, and truth in it, and we can be assured of a good catch. The, beside, the fishes did not jump into the boat. The disciples had to throw their net, and we need to throw our nets. We must be prepared to share the good news of Christ with our friends, relations, working colleagues. And when we do, when we do that, with a heart of compassion, with a heart of love, God will definitely grant us a good catch of big fishes for His kingdom. So will you catch one for Christ? Will you throw your net when Jesus tells you to throw your net? The choice is yours. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.